A dangerous air moving into Massachusetts once again. Right now, people living in Worcester County are under an air quality alert that's been extended into tomorrow. I'm Paula Eben. And I'm Chris Tanaka. In fact, more than 100 million people across the country from the Midwest to the East Coast are dealing with all of this unhealthy air. Yeah, Smoke-filled skies are causing yeah. breathing problems in Chicago. The haze in Washington, D.C. is so thick, you can barely see the Capitol wow. building. And you'll find the same scene in Pittsburgh. Hundreds of wild fires burning in Canada are still to blame. WBZ's Brandon Truitt shows us who's most at risk and what you need to know to protect yourself. It's happening again. Smoke from these Canadian wildfires impacting millions here in the U.S., Worcester and areas west under air quality alerts. The Department of Environmental Protection saying fine particles from the smoke can be hazardous to breathe. Air pollution is certainly a risk factor for a number of diseases. Dr. Michael Osborne works as a cardiologist at Mass General Hospital and says this moderate risk becomes most concerning after days worth of exposure. The doctor says folks with pre existing conditions, the elderly and children, are the most at risk in Worcester, despite mostly sunny skies in our area compared to other parts of the country. Is this something that might impact you even if you can't see it? You don't have to see it for it to be unhealthy. Um, and you likely wouldn't see it. At the point that you are seeing it, it's, it's at a very unhealthy level. Um, and it's something that if you're at risk, you should be mindful of and try to avoid. So the government has this website, it's called airnow.gov, and it lets you monitor air quality levels in real time. So let's start in Worcester, where the air quality is moderate. You can see it in yellow there. And if we check in on our friends to the south in Charlotte, North Carolina, there's a drastic difference. Chicago is even worse. They have some of the worst air quality in the world right now. Cities like Chicago and Washington, D.C. are advising people to wear masks outdoors. That's not the case here at home. The Department of Environmental Protection saying our humid weather is not holding onto air particles more than drier days. Dr. Osborne says if you start experiencing a shortness of breath or watery eyes, it's time to limit your time outdoors. Brandon True at WBZ News.